Well, everyone, I accomplished something big today. I feel like for me, I'm at a legendary spot. A spot that I thought I would never be able to go to in my whole life. I'm in dreamland, in Nara, in Japan. Pretty much this place opened up in 1961. It was inspired by California's Disneyland Park. I mean, I'm already looking in front of me, which you guys will see soon. It looks exactly like a replica. I mean, this, we're, we're about to walk down Main Street USA right now. It's, it's amazing being here right now. I mean, I seriously cannot believe I'm here right now. It's like a big goal to always come here. Like six years ago, I'm like, dude, I would love to come here, but I know I never will. And it's just so crazy how life turns out in the end. You never, you, I can never predict my life, to be honest. So this place opened up in 1961, but it closed in 2006. The reason why it closed is because nobody was coming here anymore. I mean, after being open for so long and not, not many changes have been done, they opened up a freaking uh, Disney Tokyo and everybody went there. So they ended up just closing this place down for good. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the whole reason why this place is abandoned is because it, it wasn't busy anymore. We gotta check this out. Well, there's a whole bunch of rumors going on that this place is getting demolished. It's like 50-50. It's like, yeah, it's gonna get demolished within like this year or it's not gonna get demolished yet. Every, the rumors are all over the place, spreading around. No one exactly knows when this place is gonna be demolished. But I feel like it's gonna be soon, personally. Let's go. So here's Main Street, everyone. Anyone who's ever been to Disneyland knows that this is exactly how the setup is. Except, it's very overgrown now. Here's the engravement. 1961 Dreamland. I mean, just hearing the sound. Like, oh, what'd you do in Japan, Josh? Ah, uh, you know, just explore Dreamland in Japan. Like, what? Yeah, you know, it's an abandoned amusement park. Everyone knows about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I just want to let everyone know I am literally by myself. Like, this is the first time in all my exploring history career that I have, I have ever been alone before. It's a Disneyland replica. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at this car. Dream, fire depth. <laughs> Damn. We're gonna be seeing a lot of cool things here along the way for sure. Huh. Look at these drums. Nice. I only have one day to explore all this, so I have to make sure I do this right. I gotta film it perfect. At least enough to meet my expectations. <clears throat> Unbelievable though. Can you all just believe that this is just sitting here? Abandoned? Oh my, oh my God. Everyone, I just want to jizz in my pants right now. <laughs> wow. I mean, we are looking at a castle on a band. Look at this street. Oh my god. I am flipping out right now. Here's the ticket desk. I wonder how much it was to even come into the park. Somebody told me that it was pay as you go, as in you would each ride you ride, you would have to pay for each one. Regardless, it doesn't matter anymore because it is gone for good. It just really sucks to see this place go though. I wish I got to come here when it was actually open and then see it like this. It would be even more crazier. But I'm in a ghost town. <laughs> I'm in dreamland. Look at this, there was a camera shop here, a burger rock, and this is in English. So what else is here? Uh, don't know, I'm looking though. Oh, look at this, here's the plastic balls. If you guys watched my last vlog, or been watching my Jap Jap uh, Japan vlogs, you would know about these balls. Um, in the hostel I'm staying at, they, um, whoever goes to Dreamland, they come back with one and they sign it and they leave it at the hostel. Look at the art on the ground. See, it almost looked like a bootleg Mickey. I'm not sure what that could even be. What's cool though is the roller coaster. Maybe we can climb to the top. I was scared to do it at Six Flags New Orleans. Maybe I'm brave enough here. Here it comes everyone. Bam. Not many people get to see this. So I'm very happy to be here. All this was just a big pool of water. It would have light shows here. Um, the whole bunch of stuff was going on right inside this. I wonder how this got here. Uh, it, must be, it must belong to a ride. Oh, this is an arcade game. I can tell by the Sega sign. Yeah, nice. Look at this, Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm not sure what that is though. I'm the famous screw coaster. This is the shot that everybody gets with the two loops you'll see on the internet. We're gonna go over there soon. Damn, Thomas got messed up. Here's an old before picture. Waterland. 
Let's see what this is. Ah, I've been walking through a bunch of shitty spider webs. Sucks. Oh god. Oh my god. I just walked through like seven spider webs. Ugh. This is where everyone would relax and get their food. You know, a basic uh, theme park setup. I've been to so many of them, I'm starting to picture what this actually looked like before. That looks like a flying saucer. There's the flume ride. Never, I don't think I'll ever come across a more unique abandoned amusement park in my life. Unless Disneyland or, you know, Bush Gardens or something like that collapses and gets abandoned. This is perfect. I'm surprised it's not broken yet. Here's the line if you want to go through there to ride the water slides. Even in an old forgotten left behind place, there's still beautiful flowers growing inside here. That's why I love Japan. And this ride. So on the side of Screw Coaster, we have another coaster. This is for like the little kids. This coaster is called Fantasy Coaster. Let's go up and check out and see if they have the tracks still there. Found some of the parts for the seats. Here are the wheels for it. Dude, it's like I'm in a freaking Jurassic Park jungle. Huh. Here's where they controlled it. Eh, worth a try. Had to go over here to show the front of it. Just a train. Yes! Yes! This is the shot I wanted. This is it! Now it's time to take a picture. Whew! Wow. Just... Just stare at this. It's so incredible. Just a roller coaster, but it's an abandoned roller coaster. And not only that, want to know how famous this shot really is? I'm standing on a seat, right? Someone, many people, have made a pathway just to take that shot. I mean, that's, this shot is like, seriously, when you come to Dreamland, you got to get that shot. That's what everybody does, you know? Jungle entrance of Adventureland. Ooh, I love adventures. What? Abandoned ships. They totally got this off Disneyland though. It's like the Tarzan ride when you go through it and you see the apes and everything else. Actually, you know, I don't even think it's called a Tarzan ride. I think it's a, a different name. Someone tied the rope around the squirrel's neck. That's so freaky. I just pictured, like, imagine if that was a real guy. No one would ever know. I don't want to touch him. Dreamland's bigger than I thought. I have a lot to go still. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I think this is my favorite. Mare grounds that are abandoned with the paint chipping off the horses. I don't know why, but it just fascinates me. I think it's, it's, I think it's just amazing to see that. Gives off a very spooky horror vibe. Um, I, every time I see him, I think of Silent Hill every single time. But this is the best abandoned mare ground I've ever seen. I've seen three total now. Abandoned Six Flags one, which didn't even have that much horses at all. And then the Santa uh, theme park themed one I went to, which was very recent. Imagine if the rides just started turning on and just started spinning.
I'm gonna go in there. That way's blocked. Let's try through here. Ugh. Oh snap. So evil. Oh, this is the back of it. Magically disappeared and came behind the gate. But, I mean, it's so dark in this tunnel that I don't think my camera can focus. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm alone here. Oh, oh my god. What am I doing going through here? I don't even know how I'm not scared right now. I don't know what that is. Oh, what the hell? Dreamland is awesome. It's like a giant cat. It's a killer cat. Whoa. I feel like I have a torch in my hand. Like I'm back, like I'm in Indiana and the Jones right now. Look at that. Maybe I could focus. There it goes. For everyone who's watching my videos, don't do this. Seriously though, don't do it. I mean, it's not safe. Nobody should be getting hurt out here. I don't want none of my viewers getting hurt. Yes, Fairyland, the teacups. I can't even ride the teacups. Fun fact about me, I cannot go on any spinny rides whatsoever. If I go on them, I, I really will do throw up. I can ride roller coasters, but I can't just spin around in circles like crazy. So we just found a Viking swing set. Hmm. You know, you won't find this anywhere else in the world. Right here. Except here in Japan. In Dreamland. <laughs> He's funny. God damn, so many balls. There are so many balls here. I mean, I don't understand. All these balls are here, but where's the actual ball pit? Oh my god, I can't walk through. Oh snap, the arcade games. I was wondering if I was gonna find an arcade here. Unbelievable. Damn, the games are just tipped over. When I used to work at my cousin's arcade, we used to sell all this. Especially Daytona's. I'd never seen that. That's a final scope. Love that game. So, I've told myself that I was going to attempt to climb this one. I'm gonna try to get to the top of this one. And if you've seen my New Orleans Six Flags abandoned video, I never made it to the top of that one. Maybe today's the day, maybe it's not, because I'm very scared of heights. I don't know. Well, there's no going back now. Well, there is, but we'll see what happens. I can't believe I'm doing this. <clears throat> Just another day in Japan. Oh yeah, this is a workout. Honestly, just coming to Japan for this was already worth it. I'm having so much fun here. Nothing like climbing an abandoned roller coaster to the top. I think I just redeemed myself from not climbing the one at abandoned New Orleans Six Flags. But this is all of Nara, uh, Dreamland. It's a pretty big park though. Not as big as Disneyland in California like they were trying to do. Still a nice, decent park. That's gotta be a fake fire truck. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Da, 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 da. Bam! Look at this. 
I honestly am so impressed with this place. This is my favorite abandoned place. Everyone, I really, really enjoy this place. Oh my God, who put that up there? They had to climb and everything to put that mask up there. That's a great picture. Oh yeah, right in my car. Look at, look how the actual maps look. I just found one in color now. It looks exactly like a Disneyland map. And yes, we did cover all of this for sure. I can't believe I just did this. Wow. This is probably my most favorite location I've ever been to in my life so far that's abandoned. As of right now, I said that in multiple videos, but this time I swear, this is my favorite video I've done. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you want to check out all my pictures that I took, just follow my social media, my Twitter, and my Instagram. If you follow both of those, you'll see all the images that I've took here. I took some pretty good ones, I think. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm out of here.